Today we are taking a look at the A Bathing Ape Bapesta. This is the Marvel collaboration and this is the Thor colorway. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Kicks on Kicks, where I review sneakers. Now today, we're taking a look at something real special. Now you guys know I love sneakers, but you might not know that I am very much into comic books. In fact, I got a whole other channel where that's all I talk about. Um, but anyway, when two of my favorite loves collide, I gotta, I gotta pick them up, right? So this is the A Bathing Ape Bape stuff, uh, but this is the Bape Times Marvel collaboration, and uh, these are the Thor. Now, what's interesting is Thor is not one of my favorite comic book characters, but this is definitely my favorite colorway out of the Bape and Marvel colors because the color blocking is just dope. We'll talk about all that in a second. We're going to look at the shoe. I'm going to look at the packaging. I'll give you some legit checking indicators that you can be looking out for. And then uh, we'll get up out of here. So before we get uh, started with my thoughts, huge shout out to the seller Best AS Kick for setting these over. These look great. They arrived very quickly and uh, I'm super impressed. So Thanks to them. Information is in the description down below. But now let's look at this shoe. I don't know if you can tell. I actually already wore these. I wanted to test out the comfort for myself. But starting with the outsole, this is your standard a bathing ape bapes to outsole. So you got instead of that like circular pattern like on Air Force Ones, you got the star or the star pattern there. The little registered trademark there on the heel. And then moving up to the midsole. This midsole is a nice chunky midsole that you're already familiar with from both the Air Force One and the Bathing Ape Bape stuff. But this midsole is all yellow, just a really nice yellow. Um, but you got that white outsole still. You see that from the sides there. Uh, here on uh, near the heel, you've got the Bape in a sort of uh, late, uh, I don't know what we would call this blue. It's not quite baby blue. I'll call it lightning blue for Thor, right? Very cool on the medial side. It's just straight up yellow. No contrast there. Now, uh, these shoes do have some interesting features, but to talk about those, we got to talk about the upper. So you already know that the Bathing Ape Bape Stud is a sort of ripoff shoe of the Air Force One in a way. Uh, some would call it taking homage or paying homage. Some would call it taking inspiration. Others would just call it a straight up bootleg. But whatever you call it, it's clearly a familiar silhouette, a familiar pattern. So um, a couple of things you can see on this shoe. You got your standard like toe box done in this yellow. Uh, you got your lightning blue, like I said, we'll call it uh, on this mid foot pattern or panel, excuse me. Of course, you've got your red style logo in place of a Nike swoosh. And then on the back tabs of the shoes, that's where you're going to have like the most prominent feature. So on the right shoe, you've got an embroidered Marvel block logo. That's right. Supreme Marvel did it first. And then on your left shoe, you've got an image of Thor that's sort of embossed into the shoe and then I guess screen printed on. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, on your back tab, you've got your blue Bape style logo. And that's pretty much the shoe. But let's take a look at the lace bed. These uh, came with white laces in them and no extra. So you're going to be rocking white laces in this shoe with a nice silver Bapesta logo on the aglets. And then you've got the option right here. You've got this little lace bar that says Marvel right here. But in the bag, you did get some extra so you can get that standard Bape head logo on there if that's what you wanted instead. But very cool. Uh, moving up to the tongue you got the white tag with the blue bakes to logo on the tongue and that's pretty much the shoe the only other thing that i'll point out that is of note uh let's take a look at the insole real quick this is a pretty floppy uh blue polyurethane and so i don't know it's some sort of foam insole actually but you can see there is an image of thor here and that image is actually repeated it continues on the right insole as well so very cool uh marvel times a bathing ape with the marvel copyright of course very dope and that's pretty much the shoe now i told you we're gonna look at the shoe and we're gonna look at the packaging the packaging is by far 
the craziest feature on this shoe. Um, and it's hard for me to show it to you without the shoes being inside, but these came in like a sort of action figure uh, box. So it's this box, says Marvel right here, with this sort of backing right here, this same Thor pattern. Actually, it's the same pattern from the insole, but when you put it all together, it looks like an action figure box, and that is insanely cool to me. Um, I'll show you with the Captain America pair. How about that? So this is another pair from the Bape Marvel collaboration, and you can see them like, that's just the coolest packaging I've ever seen on a sneaker. So anyway, I got a bunch of B-roll shots, but I want to put it back together for this. So clearly the packaging is the star of the show, but the shoe, honestly, is really dope. Of all the Bape Times Marvel colorways, I think these are the winner. These are like the clear winner of them all. Um, but it's just something about that yellow. And again, the color blocking on most of these shoes, you've seen like the traditional color blocking where the toe box is a different color from the mud guard. But with these, with that mud guard being a different color or being the same color as the toe box, it's just a cleaner look to me and makes it something that I want to wear. Even though these are bright yellow, blue and red, like I don't know what I'm going to wear these with. I tend to be an all black type of guy, but um, it's just a dope shoe that just kind of begs to be worn. Speaking of wearing, I actually wore these before the review. I tried them on because I wanted to see how the comfort would be. I'm not a big fan of patent leather shoes. I feel like they don't really break in very easy. I'm surprised to tell you that these are a really soft patent leather. Like this patent leather is softer in some ways than a lot of regular leather shoes that I've owned. Um, I don't know. It's weird to say, but the way these synthetic materials have been on like Jordans and Nikes in the past, these are surprisingly softer. These are also softer than the all white vapes that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. So do with that information what you will. I think these are great. I tend to go a half size down. I bought these in a size eight and a half, even though my true size is a nine, because I don't like leaving a ton of room on shoes that are like, you know, don't bend well with your foot and would crease a lot. But uh, these fit my foot like a little bit snug, of course, because I want to have size down. But I'd probably recommend going true to size with these. But other than that, I mean, that's the shoe. And um, that's all I've got to say about that. See you guys in another review soon. If you want to see uh, on foot shots, more details of these, check me out on Instagram. Links in the description down below. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.